When I'm working off the grid, AC power is essential to power all kinds of electronics. For example, my drone battery and Sony camera battery can only be charged using AC power. Anchor sent me their latest power station 757 for review, and this is how I'm using it. It is the only power station of its class that can successfully drive my Dewalt table saw and miter saw with its massive 2,400 watts surge power output. There are many other brands who claim they can deliver higher surge power output, but the Anchor 757 is the only model I have ever tested that can actually do it. It is also powerful enough to charge my Tesla Model 3. Let me show you how this works. It supports solar pass-through charging. More details later. It's charging the Tesla and the scooter. Please like and subscribe to support my work if you find this review helpful. The charger, user manual, five-year warranty. It's 20 kilo, 44 pounds. It came with 33% battery capacity left, and now I'm getting 1,004 watts input power. That is a massive power input, incredible speed. It's gonna take less than one hour, 0.8 hour to fully recharge. It has six AC outlets sharing a total of 1,500 watts of maximum continuous output, which is only 300 watts less than regular wall outlet. And there are six USB ports, four USB Type-A and two USB Type-C. The first USB Type-C can do 100 watts of output, which is great for charging the latest MacBook Pro 16 inch and the second one can do a maximum of 60 watts output. The build quality is excellent with a futuristic design. The USB ports are automatically activated as soon as the cable is plugged in with the device connected. This 100 watts output is suitable for charging MacBooks. And we can see the output number under the battery icon. It's doing 56 watts right now. Let's plug in more devices a Sony battery charger. I'm also plugging in a router so I can create a hotspot. A ham radio, tablet, phone, and a battery bank. With everything plugged in, I'm only consuming 68 watts, which is nowhere near its maximum 1,500 watts power rating. It supports up to 300 watts solar input and it supports pass-through charging, which means you can charge it and use it at the same time. I have a pretty low quality uh, foldable panel from a third-party manufacturer and the adapter fits the Anchor 757 perfectly. So I don't have the Anchor original panel, but um, so this is just a quick test. I'm not getting the full 100 watts from this panel. The solar port is in the back. I'm only getting 36 watts right now, 38, which should offset a little bit of the power consumption and still have some charge left to charge the battery bank. Now it's 44, 47 watts, really depending on the sunlight situation and the angle, of course. It is ideal to just uh, put it directly to the sunlight. Now I'm getting 99 watts of input the power uh, output dramatically increased as I optimized the angle a little bit. There are two things required to charge the Tesla with the power station like this. A power strip with ground protection. I'm using the anchor power strip and a ground bounding plug plugged into the power strip and then we can use it. Otherwise, the Tesla charger will not work. According to the display, it's drawing about 1,300 watts and getting 22 watts input from the solar panel. Now let's 
move it into the car and see what it looks like. It's charging at 12 amps at 108 volts, 73% left. That's the maximum charging speed from a regular wall outlet at 4 miles per hour. At this power consumption speed, it will only last about half an hour at 65%. I can't produce gas at home, but it's possible to generate electricity using solar panels. I wouldn't do this on a daily basis, just as a simple demonstration that it is doable and it's for emergency only. In order to max out its 1,500 watts maximum output, I'm connecting a additional electric scooter and see if he can handle it. So it's charging the Tesla and the scooter. It's drawing 1,463 watts and I plugged in everything I got, the Tesla, the scooter, the router, the battery bank, the MacBook Pro 16 inch, and I think it handled all my uh, power consumption requirements perfectly right there under 15, 1500 watts. Although it's only rated at 1500 watts continuous output, it actually handles those heavy duty machines the DeWalt table saw and the DeWalt miter saw are both rated at 1,800 watts continuous. Let's do this. I'll do a few cuts. Well, it cuts like butter. Well, still at The Anchor 757 power station handled both heavy-duty machines from DeWalt with ease. I think it should be able to power any home appliances. There's a flashlight feature that consumes about 2 watts and the brightness is adjustable. That's the maximum brightness, I think. And uh, if press it for a few seconds, it goes into SOS mode. There's a power saving mode that would automatically turn off USB power when all devices are fully charged. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful.